Yeah, this message is for Divine Feminines. I think that this is going to be the answer to your prayers. If this resonates, because there's a lot of downloads you've been receiving that, they are lacking some clarity. I mean, so yeah, right away we start off with Divine Messaging, Three of Swords, Three of Cups. I think this is saying, what is there to celebrate, truly? Is there really anything that feels worth it right now to pour my energy into i don't feel it i don't feel it it's making me think about the six of cups versus the six of swords and this feeling of you know i gave pure love why don't i get that back in return the page of swords says this is making us feel like maybe there's something we're missing you know like some truth we haven't seen yet it, it's this to me, I see this point on many journeys. I've been there myself many times, even in union where you start to question yourself because it's like, well, it must be me, right? I've gone through everything, every different potential possibility and we should be together. This is not where life should be right now. Okay, hold on, sorry. So divine messaging comes through again. One plus two is three, 21. The world card it's like we what i have in terms of my gifting and my power i should have been able to manifest the joy of my soul so what is the problem mm, the knight of wands this to me says there must be a willingness from both people to go on the grand adventure and divine feminine continues to feel like it's just me it's just me it's just me what what's going on Okay. Mm. So we have had to maintain our strength while the beast of the forest or the jungle, whatever lions live, the, the safari, the savanna, these beasts, our divine masculines, they are so honored for their strength. They're so honored for the things that they do, even when, frankly, it's not that much of anything. But for us, there is this expectation of quiet strength from feminine energy that is sometimes a little bit unfair because it, it, we don't get to be like the roaring lion. There, there, we have to be in this box. And I think it's trying to exist in that box on this journey that is making things really tough for divine feminines right now. What are we missing about this? Page of Cups. Sometimes the downloads that come in feel like a foreign language because it almost seems as if we've asked a question and it, it's, it doesn't speak to, the answer we receive doesn't speak to the question at all. But we probably know that's not true. It's just a little challenging to figure it out. I'm getting 11 really strong. Why am I getting 11 so strong? Page of Cups. Uh, page of Cups, Page of Swords, Knight of Wands, three and eight, and then we had the three, three, three. It all comes back down to us having to be the strong one. And I think that the downloads that the download that's coming in right now almost feels like a broken record, almost feels like the same old thing. We see the Three of Cups to start, but I get the Four of Cups energy. We're not dancing with our cups right now. We're looking down at them with something else being offered to us. And it's just like, what's the point? Let's look up to physical a little bit here. Queen of Wands, Seven of Swords. I think this says I'm looking to the future, but the energy, my intentions, everything is pulling me towards the past. There is a question a lot of Divine Feminines ask throughout their journey. It doesn't really matter when it is, which is, I don't know if I can do this much longer. How much longer can I do this? Am I, am, is this really for me? Like my person might be for me and you know, the love is there, but is this journey for me? Cause something feels like I'm being pulled in different directions, but I can't explain why. Nine of pentacles, the loneliness is starting to really settle in. And it was one thing when I really didn't have much going on. But at this point in my life, I have built this abundant spiritual world for myself and maybe even is starting to go into the, the physical world of abundance. What the heck is happening to me? Why would I build all this 
just to be by myself in it. So this divine feminine, these are really pointed journey questions. Hold on. And then the ace of swords. Uh, to me, this says, I need to understand why this is so challenging if I'm going to keep doing it. So again, there is the question of, is it worth it? Now, what I'm wondering is, what's, what the heck is happening in your life right now? Or what's coming your way? Or what are you dealing with that's making you ask this question so seriously? And here we have King of Pentacles. So both of these would be images in the golden light. And I know that the Divine Masculine has been trying to seek that light as well. So, okay, kind of intrigued by this. But I think seeing the King of Pentacles here says, if we feel the loneliness, if we feel like we keep having to do things and, and be on our own in a way that doesn't really make sense for what we've been journeying towards this whole time, I think the question then becomes, well, why is our divine masculine enjoying it so much? Why am I the only one who cares? Why am I the only one who's hurt by this? What are we missing? Two of Wands. There is something for us or about us that we need to see in all this. I think that must be why I was led to pull the playing cards. I know some people don't like to see the playing cards because they don't understand what they are. So I don't use them as often in public and collective readings, but now it kind of makes sense. We're going to use that as a clarifier. Let's just get a few cards on the table for Divine Feminine today. We've been getting these downloads. What is happening in our life? Oh, oh, seven of cups. Lots to explore, lots to discover. Okay. Overall... Three of Cups again. It's really, I'm wondering if the new year and like holiday celebrations had an effect on you that you didn't necessarily expect this year. Um, hold on a second. I'm going to turn it upside down. This one wanted to come out. All right, so overall physical, in the physical world, how is this, this longing playing out? Nine of Wands. You know, when I think about the Nine of Wands, to me, this person is burdened. They're, they are, and, and the Nine of Wands is a very lonely card. The Nine of Pentacles is kind of cool because you're at your house, you're chilling, everything's at in its most abundant state, and you've pretty just pretty much just butt, battened down the hatches. What is that called? Battened down the hatches, buckled down buckled in and you're there and it's just a little lonely right but the nine of wands is a different level of that because the nine of wands is more like I have been through the battle I've been through the war I'm exhausted and I have to stay here because I wasn't strong enough to like keep going in the battle I'm not able to get home and my commander said this is where I have to be this is not ideal <laughs> this is really scary so what do we need to know about this energy in order to really interpret these properly for ourselves? Mm. Trust your intuition. Trust your intuition. You may not be receiving the messages with as much clarity as you could be, but that doesn't mean you can't receive them. That doesn't mean that they won't be divinely unveiled in the perfect time. So this is not a time to just start to say, screw it, ignore your discernment. That's actually, to me, a trick of darkness. It wants to come in and say, well, you trusted yourself in the spirit to get on this journey. So maybe, maybe that was the wrong move and you should stop trusting the spirit, you know? And, it, and in our mind, once you start to question yourself, especially when you know yourself, right? Once you start to question yourself, oh, it's so easy to get in there and mess with you. So what is it that you need to know in the physical is going to help you combat this sense of being left and not really being given the information, kind of being the last to know things. What do you need to know about that? Ten of Cups. There is a storm. There is pain, but it doesn't last forever. And it is more likely that you'll see a rainbow after a storm than after just any day. 
And everybody knows there's something real magical about seeing a rainbow. We don't know why. It's like catching the full moon and it's really low on the horizon and it looks like this big, you know. There's something about certain things that just touch us. And I wanna say it again to you, Divine Feminine, the storm is what brings the rainbow. Without that moisture, really the accumulation of so much moisture in the air, the light of the sun cannot make the rainbow in that moisture. And so there is something to be said about the collecting of energies. Without certain energies, other energies cannot influence them to make them happen. There is something real special about rock bottom. I, I'm not telling you that's where you are. I'm telling you that's where I've been before. There's something special about it. So let's talk about this, Divine Feminine. Let's be real about the fact that in the spirit, we feel probably more strong than we do in the physical. We've been trying to string our physical along this whole time with our journey. What do we need to know? First and foremost, we've received a download about the work that we've been doing. And I think that what we probably missed is that we have done a great job. There is no need to put like all this pressure on yourself unless you're just brand new to this journey or you know you have purposely been like, nope, I'm not doing any work until I get my person. There's a few people out there who talk like that, but for the most part, no, most people want to do the work even for themselves. And what happens is we start to think it's me. I'm the problem. I did something wrong. I didn't do the work right. Now, in some cases, look at this here. We've got what? eight circles with stars on them what if he takes the order wrong it was supposed to be eight stars with circles on them and now he's got to redo the whole work okay sure some of you may have started off with the wrong equation but let's be real you're probably going to be pretty good at making stars with circles in them now that you've made a bunch of circles with stars in them because you've had the practice and you're going to be so much faster it's not going to take the same amount of time but again all those other examples are a really small subset of the Divine Feminine Collective as a whole. Most of us have done the work so many times. We're really, really good at it. And at this point, it's like no one is buying my stuff. What's the problem? It must be my stuff. And it's like, well, maybe you need to set up in the market on different days. You know what I mean? Because you go in on a Sunday, everybody's at the church. You know, everybody in this city goes to church on Sunday. You gotta go set up outside the church right after church gets out. That, you know, whatever. It's I know it sounds weird, but it's like, for some reason, it almost feels like the more the work that we do, the more isolated be that we become, the more we feel a sense of separation from people. So yeah, we're isolated on one side, but the other side, it's like, I don't even know, even when I try to go out and connect how to do this. So what is the physical connection to this that we might be lacking where the first thing we took this to say is you're not enough see again i just realized we're getting three and eight we're getting 11 energy hold on not enough not enough just keep doing more work that's the problem queen of cups says no that you know that you know that isn't being compassionate towards yourself you know that you have been a lighthouse on the shore, a beacon of light and hope. Yes, you've had your days where the light didn't turn on. Sure, you've had your days where you turn that bit off on purpose, like screw you DM or whatever divine or whatever. But the reality here is that there's so much going on behind the scenes and you know that. The problem with watching this stuff sometimes is that we think we know all the stuff that's going on behind the scenes because if we watch enough readings, maybe we get a bunch of different probabilities and possibilities, but I think that makes it harder because then it's like, well, I still don't really understand what's going on. Uh, so what do I do? And it's like, mm -mm, no, ignore all that, you know, watch the things, learn the things, entertainment purposes, ascension purposes, whatever you're using it for, but try not to let it steer you in so many different directions that you stop trusting you. Divine Feminine, there has to come a point where you can acknowledge that no matter what anybody says, especially someone like me who is a coach speaking to thousands of people at a time and having to reach the least of these, having to reach the people who are having the most trouble because they're the ones who need that help more than the average or above higher, uh, higher level Divine Feminine. It's like, no, 
you've got to re get be able to get past the things that come across and say are you doing this are you doing this are you doing this because you can you can list them out you know you're doing them you have to get past the part of you that says well maybe i'm just not enough maybe it's me no you know that's not the truth you've been on this journey long enough to know that it is very typical for the person who is first awakened to have this whole journey and the person who is second awakened in the twin flame counterpart because it's not always df and dm but that's the typical right the person that's second awakened to just take forever to just and even when they're awakened and, and in reunion they still take forever why because they were meant to have that opposing energy. They are what's gonna make sure that y'all don't ride off too far too fast together and leave the whole world behind that's waiting for your light. One of you has to kind of keep the other one from floating off into the space, into the ether. So this says, remember who you are, Divine Feminine. Don't let the, the confusion or the lack of momentum on the other person's part fool you. When you're getting a download about doing the work, it might be asking you to take a break. It might be telling you that at this point you're spinning your wheels. At first you weren't because you made a bunch of stuff, but now you don't even have any more storage for all the things you've created. So you've got to wait, you've got to go to the marketplace, you've got to, you've got to hold off or whatever you're getting. But some of you are really, really tired after, I mean, not days or weeks, like months, years of spiritual just fighting just challenging yourself to the, to get to the next level if you have gotten a message lately that made you feel like you didn't do enough go back to that message you missed something there's there's something there that the work that you've done has taught you what were they really trying to say have compassion towards yourself and the truth of your journey what were they really trying to say and if you're willing to share anything you learned from this, again, when we go through downloads that the Divine Feminine Collective might have misunderstood or, or missed or anything like that, you could be one of the rare feminines that didn't have this problem and you were like, oh, I know exactly what this is about. But you could also be a Divine Feminine who has an epiphany, poof, that could help someone else. That's the whole point of our comment section. It's so that we can be there for each other. It's the one place where we can be a community. What is this about? Next, what did you get a message about? Oof. It's interesting that I'm, I pointed off to the pentacle on the side because I'm gonna tell y'all right now, remember I said something about starting with the wrong equation? In this case, I said this person flipped the order on accident and they made circles instead of stars. Notice I point off to the side and then we have this pentacle. I think what this is telling you is you may not have missed the whole memo like the entire time you've been on your journey or something but with this particular download if you misinterpret this message then everything else is also with that poor interpretation so this is related to this work that you've already done there's something that once you remember it it, it helps you feel calm. It helps you be willing to turn that light back on. But it also tells you you're supposed to do something with it. This, the seed of perfection. The one that you, you got really, really, really good at it. <sighs> Interesting. So you're supposed to plant this seed. The, this, in fact, the ground is ready for it. This to me says divine has gone before you and done some work for you in this new season. Whoa, keep going, Grace. So what's, what is it in the physical? How can you meet this? We're asked to have compassion for ourselves, and what else? <gasps> 10 of swords. It's so weird because stuff is kind of like adding up. And so we've got eight plus one is nine. We've got 10 minus one is nine. I'm, I even have this, what, 911 in the physical now, 911, like, answer the call. This is one, and then this is one and zero with a new beginning. Have you ever heard me say, turn your scars into stars? I often say it when we're talking about the six of swords, and it's like, why would they bring the swords, the, the conflict, the, the problems to the new land? And it's like, well, they can use those swords 
and turn them into other things. Like, oh, have you guys ever seen that? It's like they show you like a brick of, I think it's iron. I don't know exactly what it is. If someone can tell me what I'm talking about, you'll know better. When I'm channeling, it's hard for me to remember details for some reason. It's very stressful. There's a, a brick of something like iron and they say, if you sold this, you'd make like a hundred bucks. But if you broke it down into little pieces, um, then you could do this with it. If you turned it into a sword, you could sell it for this much. If you turned it into sewing needles, which I mean, sounds like, oh, that should be the thing I do, right? Make it really small. It's like, but that's hard to make. Strong with the little hole in it. Okay, if you turn this into sewing needles, you could make $70,000. Something like that. Someone will know what I'm talking about. And what this is telling me is divine feminine, you have a choice of what you do with the conflict and the negativity and the dense, heavy things from your past. And I think this is saying to you, if you could put them all together, for me, when I put all my stuff together, all my traumas, all my pain, but also all my love and my creativities and my passion, I was like, bro, I should write books. And I've always wanted to write books and it kind of just made sense to me. That's my like whole purpose. And when I write, not just books, songs, music, when I create something, y'all, I feel like another person. I feel like the high that probably every addict is searching for when I, when I, ugh, I cannot explain it. Some of y'all know what I'm talking about when you, when you finish something that you really care about. Ugh, every time I write something, I know it's the right thing for me, but if I write a song or a poem, I can get a little bit of use out of that. But if I write a whole book, it's like breaking down the ore, you know what I mean? And there's something here that says, look at what has pained you look at what has troubled you look at what has really just gotten on your nerves and ground your gears down and ask yourself is there something I'm supposed to be doing with that a lot of you don't realize that your twin flame journey was meant to elevate you and help you be a helper to others a lot of you don't realize that your journey was meant to bring you remember I said rock bottom to bring you to such a low point but also to show you the highest highs possible so you know where to start, you know where to, what to seek. Your journey has brought you somewhere and now your job, you've done this work, is to take the perfect seed that you figured out how to create through all this practice and go plant that seed as a, as a confirmation that the season has ended that the old time is done, that you are going to find a way to make something good come from this. Because if you are isolated and alone and tired and bored because your person isn't there, it's gonna be really hard to just like go back to your old life, but maybe that was on purpose. Maybe that's exactly what Divine used your part of the separation journey for. Now, it's time to plant. It's time to establish. 2024 is the perfect year to establish yourself. Even if you've been doing this for six years and you think there's just no point anymore. Yes, there is. They brought you here. This is it. This is the freaking exciting year. And if you think that has to be because you're going to get with your person, I mean, good luck this year. I don't know if it's going to happen for you or not. And I don't want you to keep missing the memo. So if that's all you care about, no one can help you and I'm, I'm not going to feel guilty about that anymore. But if you're like, no, Grace, my journey has been about a lot more than that. Well, whatever you don't have in place, start it. End it. Make yourself a promise right now that no matter where your DM is, by the end of this year, you're going to be somewhere. You're going to be someone. You're going to be the person you care about the most. You're going to be where you've always wanted to be. Something. Make yourself a promise and then go for it. Because I think what this is telling you right now is having compassion towards yourself and what you've brought yourself through and brought yourself to. And also knowing when you need air, when you need a break, when you need to pour yourself into something positive, that's all love. Love yourself through this. So that what? What's the final message? What, what I think might have even been the point of the download, but if you didn't get past this or you misinterpreted it, it might have been confusing. 
you've done the work, you've done a really great job, love yourself, take the work that you've done and brought to perfection and use it to end an old cycle and start a fresh one so that, wow, Divine Feminine, again, it's really tough to come to a place where all you want to hear is someone to say, you're doing such a great job. They're going to call you tomorrow. It's going to be great. I can't lie to thousands of people. I don't know what's going to happen. Some people have gotten calls today. <laughs> Some people will get called tomorrow. But for those of you who have been struggling and that isn't going to be the case for you, I think it's trying to tell you if you are willing to end this cycle yourself, that divine can meet you there. That divine can offer you something really incredible, which is freedom from the old life. The truth is, many of you in your spiritual like ascension in the last few years have built on your old life, your old foundations. That's why things have been so destructive since 2017. 2017 to 2023 was swords, swords, swords. We're going into pentacles now. But I think what that means is we have to kind of close out the swords time. What is it? If you right now had to call out your own ego for anything, what is it? Or if it wasn't right now, but it's been on the journey, what was it? And if it's really not about your ego, like this is not an ego death, but more so this is closing out a cycle, what would you call that cycle? How would you define that cycle? And how do you do it? You plant the seed, you, you close things out in the physical, which then ushers in the closing out in the spiritual and what is available to you in the physical. Wow. Six of pentacles, money, gifts, time, rewards, love, balance. Interesting that I said, we're leaving behind the swords, we're going into pentacles. And, and it's kind of like, this is the reverse. If you want, dang, this is nuts, all oh, this. If you want to be able to establish yourself in something new, decide what that is and then do it. If you see things in your life that you don't like about you, decide what those things are Google how to change it and then do it. 2024 is going to be a year where you decide to do it. Do the thing. Because if you don't do the thing and you don't get into reunion this year and you didn't last year and the year before and the year before and the year before, you're going to keep building on that momentum, which is no momentum at all. And you're going to wonder in about five, 10 years what happened to your life. So this is a big time for you to say, well, what do I want? That's why I feel so, ugh, because it sounded like what they were saying is, hey, keep doing the work because the divine masculine is going really slow until there's an ego death. But it's like, yeah, but what if every message wasn't about the divine masculine? So if you struggle, that may be because you were trying to interpret something about reunion when really they were trying to share something really important with you about how to step into your abundance. Mm. Well, okay. All right, Divine Feminine. I did my best to do a message that was only about Divine Feminine. I know not too many people are going to want to watch a message like that because we want to hear about Divine Masculine and we especially don't want to hear anything that could come across as remotely critical I also want to say to you that it is with deep love that I continue to put out these messages that I know won't necessarily be received well. And I thank you for not shooting the messenger. My goal is to try to help everyone who needs it. And some divine feminines, they know they need someone there to hold their hand or to help them rip the bandaid off. And I'm willing to be that for you. It is a lot easier for me to help an individual person so if you'd like to have a chat then let's talk let's walk through this together 
But if you want to just keep checking out readings, we have all kinds of readings available. And my best recommendation would be to click the readings that you see at the end of the video. We have it set up to where the very last 20 seconds, you're going to have a video that pops up and YouTube says, based on what you've been watching, it's the best video for you. So wait till you see those last, um, I think it's going to be three videos that pop up at the end of this video and click one. I think that it's going to be really helpful for you. There's some divine feminines out there who are just finding our channel or who are just returning to the channel and really don't know where to start. So they wait for the message from, you know, tomorrow and the next day. And it says, well, there is recent stuff. All of our content, we try to make sure that we're addressing energies. And then if you're on a wave of energy, there could be stuff you find from three years ago, which <laughs> is coming up right now, by the way. Okay, that you go, why does this resonate so strongly right now? So if you are here and you feel connected to this, this reading and you feel connected to me and you don't want to have a chat or get a personal reading from me, by the way, that stuff is all on sale, um, I think 44% off right now, then watch some more readings and maybe take notes, maybe reflect on them. Take a minute before you go from one to another to say, what did I learn here? But there are so many beautiful downloads and gems that are dropped in all of our readings, even our DM readings. So I hope that somewhere in there you are receiving the assistance that you need on this journey because it's not easy to do it alone. And unfortunately, this is literally the most lonely journey that I've ever experienced in my whole life. Mm. I love you. Oh, put it right in front of me and still didn't see it. Hello, it's me, Grace. This is my website. You can always find my website in the comments section and the description, okay? I have all kinds of services available, but the ones I tell people about are personal readings and phone calls because those are the ones where I can give you direct assistance, direct download, direct information rather than a general or even an exclusive that may not be to your situation. So if there's something that I can do to help you, especially as you prepare for April, which is going to be that permanent change, it's clear deviation between where we were and where we're headed, let me know. I would love to assist. I'll talk to you later.